What is good, YouTube? This is Vortex. I'm back with another review video here, guys. This is basically the review of the Avengers Infinity War Part One. I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to uh, make this a long 15, 20 minute review. Just gonna get to the basis of the review, which is why I liked it, what parts I liked about it, what parts I hated about it, because I did. Um, and then we can pretty much, if you feel up to it, we can have a chat in the comment section. But anyway, guys, uh, let's get right to it. Basic, basically, guys, I'm mad. I love the film. There were, you know, there were a couple people on social media, specifically Facebook buddies of mine who felt like the movie was whack. That's their opinion. They can have it. I have my own. Um, I came across some. Spoiler information on YouTube yesterday that didn't even have anything to do with the movie itself. And I was just like that, you know, that's p people like that are just trash for that. Um, but I, but again, I didn't want to believe it until I actually went to see the movie and pretty much sure enough, it was, it was, um, it was true. Um, and I tried my best to stay away from social media as much as possible. Um, but even, you know, even today before I, a little bit before I left to go see the movie itself. Um, one of my buddies on Facebook even posted something on Facebook, but it wasn't anything like spoiler. He was just saying that he, he was one of my boys that he said that he didn't like the movie, but then, you know, eventually he ended up saying why in the, in his com in the comment section of his post. Cause again, the, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the Facebook posts, you can't, you know, they, a lot of the comments, they don't hide they're not hidden. So when you're when you're scrolling up past a post, you'll see the you'll still see the, you know, like some comments underneath that post. And pretty much I saw something on there that basically was a spoiler. And I was just like that. Like I read like the first like four words, four or five words. And I just kept going. And I was like, man, that I could believe. And I kind of walked in knowing what was going to happen. But anyway, I'll dive into that in a little bit. But anyway, guys, uh, I love the movie. I, I I loved it. I enjoyed it, but I'm mad. Cause for those of you who've seen the movie, for those of, for those of us who watched it and whether we enjoyed it or not, um, we know what happened. And, you know, I'm just mad. I'm a mad. I'm mad of, at a few things. I'm mad that certain characters got erased, basically. That again, you know, a lot of us weren't, you know, kind of maybe weren't expecting them to get erased. A couple of people died. We know that. We know that Loki died. We know that Idris Elba's character. I can't remember off the top of my head. His character dies. Um. Vision basically dies twice. That was true. That was like the first one was more like the first one. The first death of Vision was 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 that was that was perfect. That one was perfect. But the second one, I was just like, wow. He comes back and then he dies within within what? Ten seconds again. But um. But, you know, I love the film. I love the visuals. I, I Me personally, this is me. I, I love the fact that they, you know, they gave us, they gave each character enough screen time for, for where they were at. Except, and I'm going to get on this, I'm going to get on this in a little bit. Except for the Hulk. I'm going to get on why I didn't like. I was, I'm mad at, at the Hulk right now. I'll get on that in a little bit. But. I love the fact that they split the characters up and gave them each because because, again, these are a lot of characters trying to fit them all in one two and a half hour film. Um, me personally, I felt like each character played their played their role for the most part. Ninety nine percent again, except for the hog. I'll get on I'll get on the hog in a minute. But. Um, but <coughs> excuse me, but, you know, the, the, the film was great. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I'm just mad that certain characters got erased um, from the movie. Um, 
Like Loki's death was sad, but I, you know, I wasn't sitting back like, oh man, like Loki's dead. Like, like I'm just sitting back like, man, Loki's dead. Like that's that just sucks type of thing. It still sucks, bro. I enjoyed I enjoy Loki's character. I do. Um, but you know, Vit, Vit, the, like like I said, Visions, the way that he died the first time, it, that was perfect with with um him and him and uh mm-hmm. like I, I'm I'm just like my mind is just everywhere, so I I'm forgetting characters' names so 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 crazy. Um but Elizabeth Olsen, you know, basically his girlfriend. Basically basically boyfriend and girlfriend here and living I guess in Paris or whatever. Um you know that that whole spot, you know, where she basically uh, destroys the tesseract uh, on top of, um, I mean, the, sorry, not the tesseract, the Infinity Stone. I apologies, my fault. They they destroy the Infinity Stone that Vision has uh, while in the midst of, you know, bawling her eyes out because she knows she has to do this. Like that, you know, that, you know, they were, they were in love. That was, that was a love, that was a lovely moment, <laughs> sad moment, but, but great moment. But, um, but you know, it, it was, like I said, each character except for the Hulk, which I'm getting ready to get onto in a minute, had lo- like, and me personally, I love Drax's, I love Dave Bautista's character, even including in this film. Like he's, he's the comedy relief guys. He, he's a very funny character. Drax, Drax is just hilarious. Um, but, uh, um, the, you know, the film was great. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like at all within any spots of the movie that there were times where it was slow, like each scene held its weight. It really did. Um, and, and, you know, the way Captain America came in, that was great. Uh, because it just, you know, it just felt like, you know, it felt like Vision was, it, it really kind of felt like Vision was going to die several times before it actually happened too. That's the, that's the, one of the key things that I need to note there. When you look at when you really remember back on the film, you know, there were so many times where Vision supposedly was supposed to die, but it didn't happen until actually Thanos came and actually did what he need, what he, what he had to do to actually get the Infinity Stone in his hands. Like, cause, cause it kind of felt like Vision was the, you know, basically the 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 key to the whole thing for for Thanos to get the, you know, to for for Thanos to get the final stone, because basically Vision was the final stone that he got on his gauntlet. Um, and I'm gonna just say this now again, once again, Thanos is a bum. Um, and you know, to me personally, I just kind of feel like Thanos is nothing without his gauntlet. He's probably something even more, he's probably, you know, way more in the comics, but as far as the movie goes, I just feel like, you know, he, without, without his, you know, his, his kids, Without you know, without the gauntlet, Thanos is a bum. <clears throat> like he can, he can take like like that. And that's the other thing, guys. You know, Iron Man fighting Thanos. Is, you know, you just sit back and you just think about it. Like man, like Iron Man really shouldn't have been able to do what he did for the most part. That's just you know, that's just my thinking as far as this movie is concerned. Like Iron Man can only do but so much. You know, because once you take the suit off of Tony, it's a wrap. And I kind of felt like Tony was was going to die here um, in this film. But, he, you know, of course, he survives. Um, but but uh, a few things to note, guys. You know, we. We all were expecting people to die in the movie. We just didn't know who it was. And a lot of the fans, you know, a lot of the fans over the past, you know, year or so up to this point, kind of, you know, from what I've from what I've seen, from what I've read, a lot of fans were thinking that Iron Man was going to be one of those main characters that dies. 
uh, you know, you you weren't thinking Captain America because, you know, Captain America is the start of the whole thing, right? <clears throat> you know, te technically it's Iron Man, but as far as like the history of the movies is concerned, as far as the as far as the timetable, you know, Captain America is the beginning, but you know, we, I kind of feel like Iron Man is the one that put it all together because basically his was the first movie, the first movie to put it all, you know, to start it at least. But anyway, um, you know, like I said, a lot of people probably were more so leaning towards Iron Man being like one of the core guys that got killed and, and, and he wasn't. And even with even with the people, you know, who with everything, but what Thanos did with with the racing, basically 50 percent of the of the galaxy, basically, um, you know, you were probably still assuming that he was going to be one of them that that did. And it still didn't happen. So, you know, the again, guys, the movie was great. But here's here's what I did not like. I'm going to get on Hulk first and I'm going to get on a couple other spots. I didn't like the Hulk, his spots. Like I enjoyed the fact when he finally when he when he got his hands on Thanos in the beginning and he was giving it, you know, he was hammering him. You know, up against the wall, he was giving it to him, but then pretty much he he got dropped by Thanos. Um, you know, you 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 know that happens. You know, the Hulk fights other other bigger enemies. He gets dropped eventually, but then he'll come back and do his thing. Um, but the fact that to me, this is to me, the fact that you know once Loki saves him. Um, hold on, guys, hold on. Sorry for that brief interruption, guys. But um, like I was saying, I you know the Hulk was the Hulk. I, I didn't like the fact that after Loki saves the Hulk, sends him to Earth. I didn't like the fact that basically he was he he cowered away in inside of 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 Banner. Um, I did I didn't like that. Like he. Like you were expecting him to come out at some point, even towards the end of the movie, you were expecting him to come out and actually, you know, help out during the fight on on Wakanda. It just didn't happen. Um, you know, it, like like I I could I can get with Banner being in the in the Hulkbuster suit and you know helping out, but eventually bring 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 the Hulk out and let him let him smash some stuff. You know, I was actually expecting him to fight uh the big uh the big boy with the with the big weapon. That didn't happen. So it was just like, I, I really didn't like the Hulk's spot in the film. Just cowering away and just, you know, popping out facial wise, you know, visually wise and saying no every time. Like, like telling Banner no, like, like, come on, son, get that together, dude. Like it was, it, you know, he was basically fearful of Thanos. And, you know, you're sitting back like, dude, you only fought this cat once. Like you, you're the Hulk, dude. Get out there and try again. It's just so hope you know. Hopefully, in part two, that will change. I'm hope, I'm really hoping that that changes. Um, because again, Thanos is a bum. You know, without his gauntlet, he's a bum. But uh, I um, you know, I love the film. Um, I'm I'm upset that they erased Black Panther, you know, cause I'm like, he gets his movie, which is very, very great. It's beautiful, by the way, beautiful, beautiful film. And, you know, they put him in a spot in the Avengers and then they, they erase him. I'm like, you just had to erase the Black Panther. You just had to, huh? Um, a lot of people probably, or a few people probably be sad about, about um, Spider-Man. I mean, that, that was a moment that you could say that was a moment with, you know, with with uh, him and Tony, how how he, you know, how he he was erased. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm kind of biased towards the new Spider-Man. To me, again, in my opinion, and sticking with it, it's my opinion. Um, Tobey Maguire is the greatest Spider-Man movie wise, live action wise, in my opinion. <clears throat> Garfield was trash and the new kid, he. He has to kind of grow on me, so 
but you know like i said that that um that moment with with uh spider-man and tony was was good that was really good uh and you know i i just i I, i'm just you know again we again guys we we kind of you know kind of can have the feeling like they're gonna like these characters are gonna come back some way somehow the characters are gonna come back maybe i got a 90 percent thought process is they're gonna come back you know if they don't it kind of sucks because again you got to think about you know the different universes that we're dealing with here you know the universe that we're in now this is what happens in another universe it may it may be different you know instead of instead of uh you know spider-man and black panther and drax and you know uh uh star lord instead of them getting erased and you know it could be it could be captain america and iron man and you know uh the hulk type of thing it could be them um <clears throat> so um and even the ending that that's the thing that the the ending credit with with uh with Samuel Jackson and him and him and him and uh, uh the young lady from the first mm-hmm. Captain America no second Captain America movie um them getting erased that you know they put that spot there just to just to pretty much hype up uh Captain Marvel um I'm just waiting I'm really waiting to see what the Captain Marvel mm-hmm. trailer is going to look like and everything when whenever that pops up within the next year or so I want to see what that's going to look like um cuz Captain Marvel on my end which I was told is basically supposed to be Shazam. Captain Marvel I know is a male, so I've never heard of um, Captain Marvel being a woman, which is still I'm cool with. I have no problem with that. Um, so I want to see what they do since you know since Nick Fury pretty much pages Captain Marvel after after he drops that pager, um, and the the Captain Marvel symbol pops up there, uh, letting us know that that's on its way. Um, I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm just curious to see what the, the first trailer is going to look like. Cause f- for me, for the most part, guys, I'm, I'm the type of person that if I just see one trailer, that's pretty much it. I don't need to see any more. Cause me personally, I'm just like, if you, you up here giving us two, three different or final trailers, I feel like you're giving us every bit of the movie or even the main course of the movie and, and you know, not letting, not letting us, you know, come to sit at the dinner table and give us the full meal you know up front or should i say you know having us wait for the full course meal instead of just it's like they're giving us bits and pieces or even the main course of the meal and i'm like you only need one trailer just give me one give us all one and then just keep it moving but um but anyway uh anyway guys if if you've made it to this point with my rambling and trying to remember characters names and Reasons why I loved the movie, reasons why I didn't, type of thing. Definitely appreciate it. Um, like I said, I I loved it. I enjoyed it. You know, other people might seem different about it. Um, like I said, I'm just mad at the Hulk. I'm mad at certain characters getting erased. Um, <clears throat> and you know, let's see what the let's see what part two has to offer us next year. I want to see. I'm hoping that it's you know. I, I want the characters to come back that got erased, basically. I want them, I want them to come back. Uh, and I want the Hulk to do his thing instead of cowering away. But that's just me. I kind of felt like the Hulk should have still had like more than one one main role at the beginning and then just spots here and there, you know, just saying no the whole film, rest of the film. But, um, you know, like I said, I enjoyed the movie, guys. I just, you know just upset that you know these characters got erased specific specific ones got erased um but anyway 
let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. If you feel up to it, let's have a chat about the movie if you want. Um, again, if you made it to this point mm -hmm. um, or 10 minutes in, I don't know. Who knows? I didn't, I didn't want this. I didn't want this to be 20 minutes, but uh, even with this film, there's still a lot to still talk about um, that you, you definitely were not expecting to occur because uh, you just didn't you just didn't know because you didn't make the movie you didn't you didn't you didn't write the script you didn't change the script so you know you just walked in and were looking to see how they did it um and then you have your opinion about it mine's is i loved it yours might might not be so so high on it might not you know you might you might hate you might have hated it you know like i said i just hated certain spots certain people getting erased um and again specifically two things the hulk being a coward and two thanos being a bum so you know and and especially killing off his daughter just so that he can so that he could get that power that's trash you know stepdaughter adopted daughter whatever to me you just don't do that just because you you know you want to do the ultimate goal and and kill off 50 percent of the universe because you feel like that's going to bring balance to it when that definitely is not at all like at all the case not at all the need of the many do not outweigh the need of the few screw that son screw that or vice versa try to save everybody straight up try to save everybody straight up but that's just my that's my input and output on it, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, and I will chat with you all on the next review of a movie. Look out, be on the lookout for my reaction videos for Hunter X Hunter, Yu Yu Haku Show, and um Dang a Rapper 3 the anime. Uh next Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But other than that, guys, I'm out. I'll holler at you later. Peace.